Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at some baby safety items. Our little one, Angelo, is more and more active, more and more mobile and incredibly curious. So we've purchased a couple of extra little bits to help our house become a little bit more baby safe, um, toddler safe now really, um, so that we can have that little bit of peace of mind that wherever he is, he's not gonna get himself into too much of a pickle and he's fingers are going to be safe for definite. What we're going to do today is take a look at both items that we've ordered on Amazon. So we ordered these on Amazon and they arrived really quickly as they usually do with any Amazon purchases that we've made. First item here is like acorn and it's just basically baby safety like corner protectors. This bit's probably a mum of three now. I you know I over the years I've, I've kind of picked up on the fact that corners clearly are one of those things that kids seem to be able to find it doesn't matter how much you do to try and prevent it or to, to stop them from running into things they will find those corners so I thought this would be a really good thing to pick up just to try and instantly make everything that little bit safer around the house so you can take a look at these first of all you get 20 in the pack they come in this little ziplock it's quite convenient looks like we've got a set of instructions on the back on how you install these instructions actually look really simple. They're little picked up, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, they're little pictorial instructions, just telling you to, to clean the surface, remove the adhesive, obviously put them in place and hold it for a certain amount of time. So hopefully this should be nice and straightforward to fit in place. Let's take a little look at what we've got. See, it's quite handy because the ones that you don't use you can put straight back into the ziplock bag so it's really useful for storage I would say but, you know there's a lot of packaging that we do tend to throw away so it's quite handy that you can use that as a storage bag it looks like what have we got okay so it's clear on the outside so it's quite handy because in that respect you could put it on any corners on any of your units depends on what you've got in your house but obviously it could be that you've got varying different types of units maybe with different different shades of wood and what have you the fact that it's clear is really helpful because whether it's a glass table or a wooden sideboard that makes it really really helpful because it can blend in although obviously aesthetics aren't everything we do want our babies and children toddlers alike to be safe but it is always quite helpful that um, you know our house still looks presentable and doesn't have these hideously coloured items just plonked on the edges or the corners of every bit of furniture you've got in your house so that's really helpful looks like they all come with little adhesive strips on the inside that you can peel and something I've just spotted looks like there's some spares as well so that's obviously helpful because if these guys lose their sticky and you need to replace it that's great it means you don't waste an entire corner protector obviously with there being so many it's quite helpful I feel like that's gonna be a really good investment and hopefully will help prevent any little bumps and bruises that could have happened had we not picked them up so once we try these out hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of time to do a review on these at a later stage if you're looking to purchase some, I'll put um, some links just down below in the description and I shall tell you how I get on with these hopefully as time goes on. Oh, something that's actually really quite useful, I've just spotted here, it came out of the packet. Funnily enough, this links on to what our next item is. Um, inside the corner protectors pack was a little label asking you to check out our amazing cupboard locks as well. So that's something we're going to be looking at in just a sec little 20% off voucher, a little VIP club of some sort. So, you know, that'd be worth taking a little look at. So we might be able to make some savings on future purchases, future sort of safety proofing of the house with the kids. So that's really helpful. Okay, so moving on to our second child safety item purchase. We have picked up 
another item from Amazon. These are cupboard locks. Our little one is a very, very curious little monkey. He has certainly become an awful lot more mobile, much more active, and we have got to constantly be keeping an eye on where he is at every given second, simply because he's speedy like a little like a little rocket. So as we had a little look in here, there's a set of instructions straight away. Doesn't look overly complicated either, so a nice one pager. That looks really simple, nice pictorial, again, similar to this sort of thing on the back of the corner protectors. The, the cupboard lock system has also got nice pictorial ones, so it's probably quite straightforward for most people to use, whether or not you speak English, really, so it's looking good. Let's see what else we've got in here. We might just do the same, tip it all out, tip it all out. We've got part of the mechanism here, but if you can see there, little adhesive pad that you can peel off and then that goes on the inside for you, on the inside of a door, like so. And then there's a second part to it. Again, another thing with an adhesive pad on the back. The one thing that is always a little bit stressful when you're fitting any of these things is putting screws into everything for the fear of potentially damaging you know, something that could potentially be quite an expensive piece of furniture to replace. So the one thing actually I've noticed about this, which I think is really, really a good aspect to this particular product, is it's got very, very, if you can see there, small screw holes if you wanted to use screws. However, you've got the option of the adhesive pad and, you know, they also send the screws, so that's also something less to have to worry about. On the outside of the door, the thing that I really liked about this was with, with some of the cupboard locks that I've seen and used in the past, you've got to open the cupboard partially, pop your hand inside the door to actually release the lock. So obviously, even with little ones around, it's still possible that they can get those fingers through that gap and hurt themselves. They might not be able to get to the contents in the cupboard, but those tiny little fingers can really get damaged with you know, the, the smallest little knock of a door. So it's one thing that I always am very, very conscious of with my children. The best feature about this whole thing is that it's magnetic. So we have, looks like we've got two of these, these small circular, looks a bit like a, a doorknob. Basically, you can, I think you can use this disc, which has got an adhesive pad to pop it somewhere around the house, magnetize it there so that you can store, essentially what is a key to the doors that you fit these items to. So, hopefully you'll be able to see how this works. If you imagine inside your door, you have this part fitted to the door on the inside, this piece fitted to the top of your cupboard, interlocking like so, and then on the outside of the door you use your special magic key and it unlocks releases that bottom part to the lock. So, let's try this again. And you see how it moves that mechanism underneath. So without needing to ever even try to open the cupboard ajar, just that tiny little touch, and run that risk that your little one could potentially get those tiny little fingers trapped. You just need to have access to the key. The children won't have access to these because they will be in a higher, higher location somewhere where they won't be able to reach. Just makes life so much easier because obviously the cupboards only really need to be open when the adults need that to be the case. Obviously if you have older children, like my daughter, she's much more responsible. Um, you know, it's, it's completely up to you, obviously, where you position these in your house, but you do want them out of reach of children that perhaps are the ones that you're trying to prevent to get into the cupboards in the first place. So, these keys were the main reason that I looked at this product in the first place. So fantastic idea so I really am looking forward to see how that all works. In addition it looks like we've got some little stickers in here if you wanted 
to use them probably on the outside of your furniture so that you can see where the lock is positioned. Personally, I don't think I'm going to use these because I don't want it to affect how it all looks on the outside. I like the fact that these are hidden behind the actual cupboard door and that you won't, you know, the physical appearance of your furniture isn't affected in any way. So, it, you know, it still looks just as beautiful as it did before. It's just, it's practical and pretty. Obviously, that is an option if you wish to demonstrate where to put your key. If you need that little reminder, a visual cue, then that's fabulous. And we've got some spare little sticky pads and adhesive. So that's great. Okay, so absolutely fantastic discovery here as I've just worked out how many we've got in each. I recalled it being 10 items in the box. So that's good because we have 10 of all the bits that we need and two keys. The other bit that I wasn't expecting though, which I'm really pleased about, is it certainly will help to apply and make sure that they're all fixed in exactly the right place. This little jazzy tool is an applicator. So, the way it works after having read a little on this particular tool is you place the top se section or segment of the cupboard lock into the top of the applicator. Then you fix the main mechanism underneath, push that in place to the bottom segment of the applicator and then you can proceed to remove the adhesive strips on each piece, push it into the corner exactly where you need it, close the door as you know in exactly the position that you're looking to hold that particular cupboard door or unit in place and and then you hold it for the relevant amount of time but this saves you having to have like millions of hands available you can do it all with just one hand take the adhesive strips off and then push it into place hold it for the appropriate amount of time based on what it says in the instructions and voila absolutely fantastic ingenious idea well done okay so we're going to get busy with fitting these all around in the appropriate places in our house and we shall hopefully get the chance to give you a little review video let you know how we're getting on whether or not it manages to fox our genius little monkey from <laughs> getting his hands on everything in the cupboards and we'll see you soon if you've liked the look of these products today i will leave links to both items all down below in the description so you can take a little look for yourselves and maybe pick some up if you do do let us know feel free to like share comment let us know whether or not it's worked for you and i'll let you know soon whether it works for me too take care bye if you enjoyed this video today please remember to like share and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to get future notifications of any videos that we have coming soon